Okay, guys, I want to speak on the hood Debo's, the most feared. It's a lot of guys that was people was feared at and that was coming to the block and people get scared because that person coming around. But a lot of them uh, wasn't very known. A lot of them got in trouble so early so they was off the block and people was okay with that. But these were guys, if they was going through some things or they was hurting, they'll turn around and rob their own clique, their own mans. And you've seen that happen from a lot of them or whatever. You know, um, like I said, if you if you in my clique and you turn around and rob me, I'm going to sneak and get you up out of here. Uh, I don't see how these guys able to salute some of these guys and be around like Lil B and Bruh Bruh and all these guys. And they were turning around robbing them and then coming back to the block like everything okay. And y'all supposed to be steppers or hitters. You ain't got to let everybody know you're, what you're going to do and do this and do that. But if that person giving you a problem and treating you, you need to quietly treat him. And that's what these guys were doing. These guys were Debo, J Money. You know, a lot of guys used to get out the way. And when he pull up and, you know, and, uh, do his thing, you know, him, bruh, bruh. Uh, some of the THF members also, you know what I'm saying? And, and I want to speak on Zoo too. A lot of people talk this and talk that because Zoo came to the internet and stuff like that. But um, Bay Zoo wanted to be fucked with either, y'all. I'm going to tell you like that. Don't let these guys, these vloggers and um, internet, internet people... Uh, stir y'all up, you know what I'm saying? To be a top member in THF, um, it's pretty hard, man. You gotta be that nigga. And, um, and Zoo was that nigga. You can't get that type of strikes inside that group. Regardless, a lot of people fear them. I mean, a lot of people like old, uh, a lot of people, I ain't gonna say old block and all of them, they used them for, um, like, protection. They were protected. You know what I'm saying? But they like family over there with each, each other. A lot of groups. You don't hear none of them people on their side disrespecting THF. Period. Uh, Old Block was more famous, and uh, that's why everybody went to because they felt like it was more safer to be with them guys over there. But they were more dangerous, and they had a member over there named Trey Five. A lot of people were scared of Trey Five. Yeah, he read. You see a lot of these guys, man. That when they say you say that name, they don't say that name for a reason, because these guys are still do you in. Um, yeah, some of these guys. I don't understand when these guys get called a snitch or they snitch on some. I'm surprised they ain't snitching on everything else. You know, a lot of stuff they was involved in, but I'm surprised they ain't snitching on a lot of things. And um, and you got to be scared to mess with somebody like Trey Fire because he know everything that happened between Old Block and he can break the case for everything. You know, since you already calling him a snitch, he can solve every murder from back in the day. He can do it. You know, he was one of the leaders over there in Old Block. He can solve every case. He can solve the OD case, the JoJo case. The Tuka case, uh, he can solve all that if he really wanted to. You know, uh, bruh, bruh, um, a lot of people scared of this dude been gone for a long time. People sk still scared of him. A lot of people scared of him because they're going to have to run into him when they get, in, get locked up or whatever. And you know, a lot of people say, oh, you might not see him. Oh, he's going he gonna to try to get to your cell. He's going to get over there to your pod, and, you know what I'm saying, and try to get at you. Or something. And then you got people down there that instigate the stuff too. And they go back and pass the word. Oh, such and such over here. Remember he said this? That's how it worked. But these the guys were the hood Debo's, man. Lil B, and he wasn't no threat and probably fighting. We don't know if he could fight or not. But anyway it go, you fight, it's over. Lil B was the type of person, he could do what he want to you. If not, he gonna just kill you right then and there. And that's what kind of guy he was. And T-Roy, a lot of people were scared of T-Roy. They was dissing him and stuff. A lot of these guys I brought up, they name don't get dissed. Still don't get dissed. And a lot of these guys been gone almost eight to nine years. Longer than that. Some of them gone for, to jail. They still don't get dissed. Um, people play with Vaughn a lot because Vaughn played around also a lot. And if Vaughn wasn't playing around quietly and doing what he doing, they wouldn't be mentioning Vaughn's name. But these guys had conversation with Vaughn. They knew him from the beginning. That's why they didn't take him serious. Vaughn just got dangers on their ass. And allegedly T-Roy was behind that. D-Rose. You can say this and say that. Growing up in the drill culture, D-Rose was the most feared. Reason why D-Rose was feared because if you if you was beefing with them and you saw D-Rose in the car, um, you're going to shit bricks. I mean, he was the first one to have Taekwon. I think he pretty much made them dangerous or whatever because he was pretty much stanging their ass. And um, they got real dangerous after that. They started trying to get him, but, you know, couldn't get him. You know, getting booked later on. I believe they would end up got, got him later on, you know. It was a couple of these guys. They would they when they got locked up, they'd be gone today. Bro, bro, especially what he doing. He putting his hands on people. Somebody would have been got him. You know, a lot of these people scared. They don't care about the situation, especially 
people like Bro Bro them throwing people in the trash can and shit like that. You throw some of these young jump out gangs in the trash can, you gone. You coming in there with them. And HK, the reason why I brought his name up, because at the time when his brother got killed and people started dying, and his name was just ringing the block. A lot of people knew about HK, a lot of people didn't. His name was Fear, you know. People like, ooh, this HK dude ain't playing, he getting that people. You know what I'm saying? It was it was traveling, the world was traveling around. Mad Max and Shooter Shells, them, them guys, like, on A Block, they probably wasn't Hollywood with the stories and stuff, but, you know, people feared them over there. They had people scared. A lot of people over there say they weren't scared of Max, but I don't see how you can be, not be scared of a guy that's actually killing people that's got over nine bodies. Uh, Mad Max should be more feared. Maybe he'll be more feared and talked about if he went ahead to snitch on his name. You know, back in the day, you know, a lot of people might be dead because of T-Roy. That's why t Roy name's scary. And um, KGS Vaughn, a lot of people was scared of him. His name was starting to ring a lot. Uh, he was like the demon of, of the Chicago drill culture. I'm talking about notable people. There's a lot of people out there that doing their thing and doing this and doing that. It ain't nothing to brag about, but hey, a lot of these guys, man, who they is and what they are. You know what I'm saying? KT Dre, they were doing their thing, but a lot of them just not scary, but they, they'll knock you off. 